Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Mister, specifically how you can use the console port to help you troubleshoot some of the issues you might run into. Let's get into it. Like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we go live. So in our last video, we showed you how to set up two players for Street Fighter 2 on the Mister, which was really cool because the devs actually came back and showed us how to do it. But what if the devs don't come back with an answer and you're left troubleshooting on your own? I had to learn how to use the console port, so I figured I'd show you guys how to set it up and how to look and use it. It's really easy, but it will help a lot. Let's do this. So just to cover the basics, first, I'm assuming you already have this thing powered up, assembled, misters installed, and you are just having some issues with a joystick or a game. So first, what you want to do is go ahead and download Putty. Okay, you need a client to talk to the mister. Okay, the putty is a uh, great software. Secondly, you'll need that mini B to USB cable. That's how you actually connect to it uh, on the console. All right, so you got putty, you got your cable, you got it powered up, you got it hooked up to your computer. Let's do this. So first thing I would recommend, go ahead and do a mister update uh, all. You know, if you got that script, it helps alleviate a lot of the trouble. If you're manually updating your cores, go ahead and you know skip that part or don't do it. Um, but it will help alleviate a lot of the issues. All right, first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and launch Putty. And I got a whole bunch of save sessions in here, but we can create one. So this is what I have. I have COM4 set up as my port and speed I have set up here under serial, okay? So on the left side, all these options select serial and in here you'll be able to actually change it okay so com4 speed you want 1100 15200 data bits eight stop bits one parity none flow control x on and x off you can save that okay name it whatever you want now i notice that when i try to connect watch this i get an error it's like okay what's this all about com4 doesn't work so sometimes it happens just try any of the com ports uh one through five I think COM3 is the one that works for me, so watch this, I'm going to change this to 3, and boom, it works. Give it a minute, let it set up, well, not a minute, it's only like 5 seconds, and then you can log in, just type in root, and then the password is 1. Too easy. At this point, you can start hitting your keyboard, you know, your joystick, doing whatever it is, input, you know, starting a game, doesn't matter, and you'll start to see outputs on the screen. Very verbose outputs, lots of lines. Every time you hit any key, any button, it'll start yelling, going, hey, I saw this happen over here. I saw this happen over here. In this case, Donkey Kong. I launched the game and a series of outputs came. So I had to read through them. So when the output comes on the screen, when you initiate a game or a joystick push or whatever it is you're troubleshooting, what you gotta do, in my case, what I did, is I went ahead and maximized the screen like this, and I scrolled back up to the top and I looked at when I actually launched the game and I started reading through it. Now, this is gonna get pretty tedious, but as you read through this, you're gonna notice that sometimes there are errors, you know, like a file not found. And you'll think, hey, that's the problem. Well, not exactly. For example, if it says it can't find a gamma or scalar file, that may just mean that you haven't set one up. You know, maybe you're not using scan lines or doublers or gammas or overlays. So that's fine, you can ignore some of these errors. Now, as you go through this though, you get more and more familiar with it, and it'll show you the core file that's, um, sorry, uh, that was executed, and it'll show you the, you know, the ROM that was executed and the path, and you can check those things. And as you get down to the blue area, that's where it actually loads in some of the core options for the mister. You know, like your, your composite, um, or sorry, your component, and your HDMI settings, your VSync, and, you know, all of those wonderful things that we don't know a lot about, <laughs> uh, at least I don't yet, still learning, in the mister.ini. So scroll through these and get down to the bottom. Uh, this is what I did, and I scrolled down and I finally saw, you know, the error, which in my case was a VSync issue. Now, this, net, you know, may not be the case for you, but what this should do is help introduce you at least to... Uh, what the console does. It'll output, you know, a lot of good information. You got to go through this. You can say, hey, when I launch Forgotten Worlds or Donkey Kong or whatever it is, 
this is what I see on the console. Video, something, whatever, out of sync, or MD5 doesn't match. Now when you do that, people are a lot more willing to help. So in my case, like I said, scroll all the way down. And I started seeing these errors, and it said, you know, uh, K out of bounds and things like that. And I didn't know really what to do, so I posted that question very specifically, you know, in the Discord channel, and someone was able to help me. But hopefully, this gives you some insight to some of the console's capabilities, what it can do for you, and you know the error and outputting uh, of all these debug messages can give you a, a better clue of, of what's going on inside the mystery brain. Like, what is it thinking? What is it doing when I hit this button? Uh, it's a very useful tool, and it can really help you debug uh, video and input, you know, joystick issues. So anyway, guys. Hopefully this has kind of opened your eyes a little bit to the console, you know, port, what it can be used for, and how it can help you in troubleshooting. It has helped me tremendously. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks always for uh, your support, and I will see you on the next one.